Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, I also have re-included the uh, list of the readings that I offer. Um, just to make it easier. So if you would like a reading, go ahead and read through that and then let me know which one you would like to move forward with. Now, if you have trouble deciding, email me still and we'll chat about the situation and I'll help you decide, yeah? So I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading here, okay, which is what I normally do for the monthly Zodiac, Zodiac reading. So if you're new to the channel, hi, um, and you're interested in potentially getting a reading, this is an example of the freestyle reading. Now, you won't be able to see the cards because when I'm doing these general monthly ones, I do like to do it face to face so you guys can, we can have like a little conversation. Um, when you do get your personal reading, the, the camera is going to be focused on the cards, okay? But you'll be, uh, it, during this video, you'll be able to get an understanding of the flow of the reading. Yeah, please excuse me. I've been channeling. When I channel, my nose gets really itchy sometimes. Okay. So I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot uh, for our, our, our freestyle reading, but then I am still getting Oracle guidance. But this month, I decided to go with something new. I will be using the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I really love this deck. I love the messages that come through with it, coming through with it, and I'm really excited to see what comes out for all of us this month. Yes? All right, Leo. Um, I have a pre-shuffle here, and... A good a, a few cards came out, so I'm I still have them on the table. I wanted to leave them here because I didn't want to forget. Uh, it seems like oh, also before I go any further, um, these month even though these readings are dated, you know, for the month that they're being channeled and recorded, it, ultimately they are timeless. All right, so it doesn't matter when you see or when you're drawn to watch this reading, and if it resonates for you, whenever you're drawn for it towards it. Even if it's after June and it still resonates with you, then that message was for you at that moment, okay? Excellent. So what's going on here right now? It looks like, Leo, either you or someone you're connecting with is coming to terms with their emotional side. There might be... There might be an energy of wanting stability, wanting some form of, some, some form of commitment, um, you have the King of Cups with Temperance and the Four of Wands, okay? So uh, you may need to be patient with somebody um, as they go through some sort of healing process, as they go through some sort of balancing, um, as they, you know, work on gaining their foundation within. You may be the individual that's working on gaining some sort of foundation within and kind of uh, maturing emotionally. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could have either of these energies in your chart. Um, I feel like either Leo, uh, Leo, this is either you or someone else. Again, take it as it resonates, but I really do feel like somebody is coming to terms with some deeper aspects, deeper elements of their life, because then you also have the Hermit, which is uh, underneath the deck. Now, the Hermit does represent Virgo, so you could either be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. And then you also have the Nine of Pentacles, again, which is more Virgo energy, but you have the Nine of Pentacles with the Tower, which is more Scorpio energy, and the King of Swords, which is Aquarian energy, or maybe just another air sign, okay, Libra or um, Gemini. But uh, this honestly, for the most part, feels like a change in some sort of single or bachelor status. Or it could be someone coming to terms with wanting to change that. It could be you, Leo. It could be someone else that you're connecting with. Again, take what resonates. And this individual may be tearing down this tower themselves or, or creating this tower moment themselves, or this individual is going through or has gone through a tower moment and now is trying to be as logical as possible. There could be, there could have been some sort of situation that happened in terms of some sort of bachelor or single status uh, with the tower here that really put some shit into perspective for somebody. And now they're kind of looking at things from a logical point of view. They're also potentially taking their emotions into, into play here. Even though the King of Swords is um, emotionally detached, you do have 
the King of Cups here. So emotions are involved. Um, and there's a deeper balance that's coming into play. There's a deeper sense of um, stability that's coming into play with the Four of Wands. This could be some sort of situation with your home life, maybe want with wanting marriage. Um, but then also there is an energy of deep soul searching, inner soul work. Under your, understanding yourself from a deep, on a deeper level. Um, and I'm hearing from the emotional side of things where you may have been emotionally detached before or someone connected with you has been emotionally detached before. Okay. I'm hearing that's the theme of your month. Okay. So let's get into it and see what else we've got for you. All right, Leo. I'm just going to shuffle this up a little bit. And then I'm going to say our prayer before we get started. Do not take that one. Okay. Ooh. Um, well, the moon and the fool just came out, which is interesting. Uh, but they're saying don't take that one, but I'm going to take it also. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. What they're saying is some of you are dealing with a Gemini. You might want to watch the Gemini video or you might want to, uh, or you might have Gemini in your chart because the moon and the fool came out as the very last uh, uh, the, the closing message or potential outcome in the second half of the reading there. And also the Four of Cups came out for Gemini. So those came out just to say some of you might be dealing with a Gemini and so you should be, or you, ha or you, you have Gemini energy in your chart, so you might want to go watch that video, okay? All right, Leo. Here we go. Let me just get this, shuffle this one more time. Yeah, the fool really wants to... <laughs> The fool really wants to make itself known. There is some sort of change. Yeah, there's a brand new direction that someone's going in. There's a change in someone. Um, there's a, le uh, a leap of faith that's happening here that needs to happen, potentially, that's about to happen. But let's see what else we get. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um... We're going to give this five shuffles, Leo. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out how many shuffles to get. Five shuffles for you. Um, and to be quite honest, uh, there was a lot of red, fiery energy for you, Leo. Um, someone could be fired up. Someone could be amped up, ready to go. I am kind of picking up on a King of Wands type energy. Uh, definitely being sure of themselves, especially after coming out of some sort of hermit mode in which you do some inner healing or some soul searching to find your inner light. That was three. Ah, some of you actually might be falling because the hermit also represents um, walking a lone path or walking an individual path. So some of you might be choosing to go off the beaten path and kind of follow your emotions in this sense. Follow what your heart is saying instead of what your mind or emotional detachment might be saying. Wow. And also the other thing that I'm getting with the King of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles and the Tower energy. Thunder is that. Um, there really could be some change in someone coming out of a really emotionally detached place in a, a bachelor and like a bachelor place or bachelorette to a more emotional place. OK. All right, two more shuffles for you, Leo, and then we'll see what we've got here. And last one for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here. Boop. All right, Leo. Overall energy, let's see what we've got for you. Ah, yes, the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups did come out while I was putting away my pre-shuffle here for you, which was also leading me to the Gemini reading. So some of you might be dealing with Gemini. You might have Gemini in your chart. You might want to watch that video, all right? But there is some sense of unrequited love here 
or um, some sort of boredom. I'm hearing needing to take action in some way. Um, now, this could be a situation in which that tower energy that came out in uh, the pre-shuffle could have been that energy of someone, maybe someone, someone expressed some sort of unrequited quieted love for you, towards you, or uh, maybe someone took back some love that they were trying to give you. The Four of Cups also can represent a missed opportunity. So I feel like there's some sort of missed opportunity here that has led to a big tower moment. You have the Two of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have, yeah, the Five of Cups. Okay, the Page of Swords is underneath that, um, wanted to show itself a little bit. There could be some sort of spying going on. Um, someone may want to communicate blunt, honest communication, maybe some sort of immature communication. But ultimately, I do feel like there was some sort of missed opportunity here, Leo, either on your behalf or on the behalf of someone else, um, that has led to some sort of regret, remorse, shame, guilt, and you're having to choose a new direction. Either you, Leo, or someone that you're connecting with, whoever is facing, dealing with this realization of a missed opportunity now has the ability to deal with some things, some illusions of grandeur, I want to say, or um, confusion, options, whatever, uh, a mess of emotions potentially, in order to make a decision to move in a different direction. So again, this does feel like some sort of catalyst type energy. This missed opportunity has in fact created some sort of tower moment for someone. The tower was struck and now either you, Leo, or the person that you are connected with that's feeling this unrequited love or is dealing with the realization of this miss, missed opportunity has the uh, has now the opportunity to make a decision to move in a different direction okay a direction that's most likely going to be much much better for you or them and it could be for both of you if you know um you are connecting with someone like a potential partner a soulmate twin flame whatever Labels are not important. A romantic partner is basically what I'm saying. Either if you're connecting with this person and potentially going to end up with them or with intentions of ending up with them, and maybe something happened here in which now an opportunity has been missed. Because I do feel like from this Four of Cups energy, it's almost as if somebody is kind of like retracting on their offer. And it could be, it really could be this, that... Uh, someone has decided to remain single because logically speaking, a tower moment, because, you know, they were in their nine of pentacles energy, which is the single or the bachelor bachelorette energy, a tower moment happened. And now they're, because of that tower moment, someone is being super, super logical where in the past, or maybe even still, they are feeling this emotion with the king of cups four of wands. Oh shoot. And I can't remember the last card that came out there. Uh, 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 if you guys remember, you remember, or you could always go back in the, in the beginning. But what I'm getting here is that there is a sense of love. Either someone is in love, someone felt deeply, deeply in love, and maybe still feels in love, maybe is still feeling that love, but because of whatever happened in this tower moment situation, they're remaining, they're choosing to stay single and being logical about it instead of dealing, following their emotions in this situation. Wow, that was long-winded. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. But that's why I was saying, I feel like with this Four of Cups energy, unrequited love or a missed opportunity, it feels like someone kind of took that offer back and was kind of like, mm, okay, yeah, I might have feelings for you, but I'm not, I'm not, no. No, not under these circumstances. Oh no. Not under these circumstances, Seven of Cups. And so thus, now the other person, or maybe even both of you, have to now deal with these Seven of Cups here and move in a new direction. All right, Leo? <sighs> okay.
Let's get into the rest of your reading here. So you can, in fact, look at this as uh, the first half and the second half of your month. But I recommend that you don't look at it this way. I recommend that you look at this as the first half and the second half of your reading because time is an illusion and energies are fluid. And so and a message could come through here at any point in the reading that applies to a, a, a message that came through at a different time or a different part of the reading, okay? So getting into the first half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the two of pentacles. Okay, um, what I'm getting with this two of pentacles is there's some sort of keeping the balance here. This might be a work situation in which now there's some, because I'm hearing keeping the peace or saving face, keeping up appearance, and normally that's represented by the, the Six of Wands, um, or at least it can be represented by the Six of Wands. I'm feeling that here with the Two of Pentacles. This could be a business situation, some in a situation in which this is a business partner that you're dealing with, um, or maybe just somebody you work with, or someone that you worked with at one point in time, but there's still some sort of need or necessity to maintain a balance here. So I really do feel like even though, you know, the situation might be that someone kind of got some knowledge or experienced or became aware of something that caused them to stay logical and be like, whoa, no, I'm pulling back whatever I extended before. They're not being malicious about it. They're not trying to create drama, none of that stuff, especially with the King of Swords energy that came out earlier. And that's what this Two of Pentacles is saying here, okay? Keeping the balance. Two of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Ten of Wands. Because there are a lot of burdens here. But also what I'm getting with the Ten of Wands is that there are a lot of responsibilities. And this situation might be making, uh, handling these responsibilities that much more of a burden. It almost feels like somebody feels that either they feel like they need to, or maybe they really do need to walk on eggshells at this point. And the Seven of Cups energy could be a reputation. Because I was kind of seeing in the Seven of Cups energy, at some point I was kind of feeling like this Seven of Cups might be the opinions or the feelings other people have regarding a certain individual or maybe a certain situation. But I am definitely getting a walking on eggshells type of energy with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. In the first half of your reading, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yes, this really could be a work situation, someone that you're working with. And this really could be a situation in which you two or you individuals need to find a way to work together in the face of something that may have come out, that may have come to light. Now, someone really could be struggling to keep up appearance here with this Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, but ultimately there is an energy of self-mastery here with the Three of Pentacles. That, yes, this can speak to entrepreneurship or teamwork, but also this, to me, represents uh, a self-mastery, okay? Three of Pentacles is coupled with... Mm, there's that King of Swords again. See, I told you, someone, someone is like, look, buddy, Regardless of what just happened or what just went down or what I've just seen or what I've just learned or what we've just been through, at the end of the day, we still need to find a way to work together. Like, okay, we don't have to be, be friends. Ideally, it would be nice if we're friends because we have to work together. But at the end of the day, all that really matters is that we've got to work together. Now, this also could be somebody really being as emotionally detached and logical as they can in order to really get some sort of sense of self-mastery under their belt. Okay? The challenge in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have ooh, the Page of Pentacles, reaching a new level coming clean, being honest, standing up, starting over with more integrity and a certain sense of commitment to that integrity. That's your challenge here. 
either you, Leo, or for someone else. Again, take it as it resonates. Making some sort of offer. Showing up. Saying you're going to do something and then following through with it. The Page of Pentacles is coupled with, and, and honestly, it's coming out as a page because this does seem to be a new level of existence or expansion that someone is going through here. So I would recommend that patience and diplomacy be the name of the game here with the King of Swords, okay? Page of Pentacles in your challenge for the first half of the reading is coupled with oh, the Two of Swords. Releasing yourself from some sort of indecis in indecisiveness Making a decision with the two of wands that is in the overall energy and then following through. Honoring that commitment. No matter how difficult it might be, no matter how challenging it might be to find your footing here. And it's okay if it's challenging. Ultimately, this page of pentacles energy is an individual in which I tend to see has just reached a level up. And so, yeah, you're like a toddler trying to learn to walk. You've got to find your footing. It's got to be challenging. You might fall. You might stumble. You might make a few mistakes here or there. Actually, I would say go ahead and expect yourself to make a few mistakes here and there. But that could be what's holding someone back from taking on this new level. I'm sorry guys, the glare is really kind of shitty right now. Let me turn down, the, dim the photons, ah! Okay, I just don't want it to be too dark. I want you guys to be able to see. But anyway, that really could be what's going on here. You know, someone is afraid to take on the challenge of doing something new, trying something new, and ultimately make a mistake. Making a fool out of yourself, come on. Fuck that. Make mistakes. That's how you learn. And I feel like there is a Leo out there that is way too deep in their pride. And that actually, I, my attention was drawn to the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. That could be why someone is juggling just to stay afloat. They're carrying all these burdens. And literally all they have to do is drop those, choose to drop those burdens and start anew, start over, hit, step into a new level of existence in which they no longer need to carry these burdens, okay? All right. Uh, the closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you've got the Eight of Cups. Something needs to be left behind. I'm telling you, and it's most likely all of these burdens that someone is carrying here. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Somebody has got to walk away from something. And you know what, though? It's so funny because in this, in this, cup, in this card here, you have eight cups that are neatly stacked. And so that could denounce or denote, excuse me, that could denote that someone spent a lot of time assembling these cups. But you see, now it's gotten to the point where they can't necessarily keep up with it anymore. So something's got to be let go of. It's so interesting because this person is more focused on the fact that they could make a mistake when they step into this new level with a clean slate. And yet they're sitting here juggling all this shit, potentially about to make an even bigger mistake than you would had you stepped into a new level and you're just trying to find your footing. Like, this is a ten of, ten of Wands. This is established energy. Okay, also with the Eight of Cups, this is established energy. So you fuck this up. Ooh, that's a glare. You fuck this up, you could fuck something real big up. You know what I mean? Like there's more at stake with this established energy than there would be if you were to choose to move in a different direction. Try something new, do something differently, okay? Eight of Cups as your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Leo, is coupled with the moon. Somebody needs to let go of something because something is not as it seems. But there's also fear here. There is illusion. 
So this could be for that person that has assembled these eight cups, that Leo or the cross watcher that has assembled those eight cups thinking everything's all honky dory, but mm, I kind of feel like, I kind of got a feeling that there's some sort of toxicity flowing around in there. Seven of cups. Seven of cups is illusion, confusion, options. Illusion, confusion with the moon. Someone also might be deceiving themselves into thinking that everything's okay when it may not be. All right? Getting into your second half of the reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You've got hmm, justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart, but also this is karma. Yeah, so you really might want to check out that uh, Gemini reading because the Gemini reading was all about closing out a cycle and healing the karma. Healing the karma without allowing the cycle to close out first. You know what I mean? Because you can go either way. Either you can close out the cycle and leave things open-ended or unhandled, or you can handle it and then allow the cycle to close out. It's up to you. But you might want to check that out because the Justice card here is speaking to karma. Justice being served. And that could have everything to do with the fact that someone needs to drop a bunch of burdens here. Stop trying to keep up appearance and just let go of the things, let go of the things that are, that are no longer good, that aren't good for you to walk away from the, search, from the situation because it doesn't, it's not what it seems. These eight cups that someone has neatly stacked are not what they seem. Either from the outside looking in or even from the outside. And this person really could be deceiving themselves about this, okay? But either way, some sort of justice is going to be served. Karma is going to be, be, be repaid in kind. You can, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. The universe has every intention of keeping that law of karma intact. It's up to you to figure out what you're going to do about that. Justice is coupled with, huh, the Six of Wands. There is your energy, Leo. Um, <clears throat> this is also the energy of keeping up appearance. So this, again, Leo, whoever this is for, this could go either way. Either you can keep up appearance as if thinking everything's okay when it's really not, and then you've got that karmic justice slamming down on you. Once that gavel hits the desk, it, the decision is final. Or you could be on the victorious end of this, Justice. Yeah? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading, you've got... Ooh! The Chariot. Cancerian energy. You could have Cancer in your chart. You could be dealing with a Cancer. But this is movement forward, and I'm hearing in the right direction. And I really do feel like that's once this justice, justice is served. Um, so actually, it's really not all bad. I am also picking up a sense of freedom once justice is served that allows you to move forward in a much more balanced way with the chariot in control of yourself, in control of your emotions. That's what I'm hearing. Can, uh, cancer. <laughs> the chariot, you could be dealing with a cancer, but the chariot is coupled with, ah, the queen of pentacles. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn energy in your chart. It's funny because Capricorn and cancer are the two opposites of each other, um, but you also could be dealing with another earth sign, potentially a Taurus or Virgo. I just feel someone being very confident in their femininity, in their motherly aspects. Moving forward. Knowing exactly what it is they want, knowing how to get it, being very grounded. Business oriented. A feminine energy, although this doesn't have to be an actual woman, this could be a man. 
This is just energy, not, not gender. I just feel with this chariot energy, uh, once some sort of justice is served, somebody is going to be moving forward very quickly, very confidently, very sure of themselves, very stable, grounded. Uh, this justice could even be some sort of uh, uh, financial or monetary gain from this justice. So it could be the closing out of a legal situation that allows someone, that, that gives somebody you know, some funds and allows them to really take care of themselves or others in the way that they may be, necess that may be necessary or the, may, the way they may really want to or may have wanted to. I mean, in all honesty, this could even be a custody battle over children and the mother or the feminine nurturing aspect or energy in the situation wins out, gains custody. Uh, that's for a specific amount of people here. I don't know who that's for, but it's a general reading, so I'm just going to let it flow. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, balance between give and take. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Could be you, Leo. Could also be a Sagittarian or maybe another, uh, maybe an Aries. Um, but the challenge here is to not be too hasty. To really take your time and make sure that the situation is balanced and reciprocal. Instead of just riding in maybe roughshod or, you know, like a bat out of hell or maybe all hasty or lusty and all that. The challenge here is to make sure that the situation is balanced and reciprocal. And that could be part of the lesson that you're learning here, Leo, for some of you. Whether you're on the, whether you're the person that may have rushed in or may have wanted to rush in not really understanding the situation or you're the person that is uh, slightly narcissistic in nature and is not the one to really give what you, give back what you receive. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you got... Hey now, here you are, the King of Wands. Yeah. Someone feeling very balanced and sure of themselves, knowing exactly what they want, how to get it, how to go about, how to go about it, knowing when the right time to strike is. This could be you, Leo. Officially, this is the archetype of Leo with the King of Wands, but it also could be another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. King of Wands is coupled with the Six of Swords. Okay. Good. So, in the face of all of this challenge and struggle, I do feel, I do see somebody moving forward confident and sure of themselves into, from rough waters into calmer waters. Now, for some of you, This is a situation in which you're just kind of staying in this kind of egocentric energy and are just like working on avoiding the, uh, the situation. That's coming through for some, of our, for some of you. But others of you, you're actually making this change. And the Six of Wands, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords here represents the healing aspect of it, Move, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. So, uh, making that change from uh, some, uh, some sort of selfish, egotistical, self-centered person into more of a little more of a King of Cups energy, potentially, which is the energy that came out in the pre-shuffle here. And that also could be the victory here, injustice, with the Six of Wands. Okay? All right. Okay, Leo, I see you. Let's get into your oracle guidance. Now, I'm going to give this three shuffles for you, Leo, and we will see what we've got for you for this month. For my Leo's sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of June 2019. One last shuffle. All right, Leo. Best message for you. There it is. Ooh. Okay. 
Card number four, against the grain. Interesting. I don't know, Leo, is this good or is it bad? Because honestly, I was picking up on a little bit of that energy in the beginning of the reading in the sense of like with the hermit energy that came out, following your own path, following going against what the norm is, that absolutely could be going against the grain. Maybe you've been the type of person to just um, stick with the status quo, stick with what society says, society's opinion about things instead of doing what's right for you or going in your own direction. Now, on the other hand, this could be negative in the sense that you're not going with the flow. But let's read it and see what we see, see what we get. Against the grain. You want birds to be able to fly underwater. You want love to trump power. You want humanity to relate to each other as equals and to recognize the sacredness in you and in the world around you. You want to unleash you want to unleash the beauty that hides in even the ugliest of scenes or sentiments. You want to make possible what others say cannot be. You are a radical dreamer, a sacred rebel, and you bring the light of a more positive future to this world. However, this can have its burdens. Deep within you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world. Oh, so let me say that again. Deep within, you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world. Perhaps your sense of how things can be and how they really are is so different to the, simil to the smaller minds or more fearful hearts of many others that you are rarely received for all that you offer. This might make you feel frustrated, thwarty, thwarted, excuse me, or lonely at times. The universe so loves for, so, I'm sorry, the universe so loves you for your unusual take on things, for the quirkiness in you that dares to honor that which is different and renders the impossible possible. You must never, ever lose your unusual ways and become dry, serious, appropriate, and conventional, not even for appearance's sake, for you would lose your essence. You are here to show that life is about so much more than conventional success. This oracle comes with a special message for you. You are someone who lives and breathes in the depths of creative waters. You need to lose yourself, loose yourself to the flow of music, nature, dreams, imagination, and fantasy through art and literature, meditation, dance, and in sensual surrender to the sacred waters of the ocean, the river, the lake, or the bathtub. You must go against the grain. It is just your way. You are not one of the followers, but one of the agitators. However, yours is not a force of disrespectful chaos. You are a loving catalyst, and by simply being yourself, you constantly remind people that there is always another way. This oracle comes with the particular guidance that you are meant to be exactly as you are. You are meant to be the black sheep, the rainbow sheep, or even the wild wolf in the flock of sheep, the daring butterfly calling to the caterpillar, caterp caterpillars, that is you. The price you pay for the gift of individuality is that you must take care of it and guard it so that you are not dulled down and conditioned into playing at being something that you are not. If this has happened or is threatening to happen, this oracle brings you comfort. You will always dream of birds that fly underwater. You know that the true nature of your being can never be changed. At most, it could only be hidden for a time. Now is the time to accept who you are and allow your truths to be freely expressed. Don't worry about the efforts of going against the grain. When we are who we are in truth, we attract the support, protection, and energy that we need to, thr to thrive. Your power comes from aligning your outward self with your inner truth, not the general consensus. You will then find another you will then find other dreamers, other wild butterflies, and atypically colored sheep to join you in conjuring better visions uh, for our world. Wow. So there you have it, Leo. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes? Uh, take care. Yeah, take care. <laughs> Bye. Mm.